Hi. And welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany. And I'm Jay. And we're super foodies. Sharing some of our culinary experiences and adventures with you. And every Tuesdays, we post for Tuesday Tastings. And today, we are eating... Indian food snacks. And desserts, yay! I'm so excited. A lot of these snacks I've never eaten before. I've had the jalebi before because I really like those. Everything else is kind of new to me. So... Same here. I've never tried any of these in my life. I don't know. We decided to go to our local Indian grocery store. If you checked out our other video where we did our Indian food mukbang, uh, we had the food from there, but they also have a little grocery store, so we bought it from them as well. All right. Let's dig it. All right. Let's do it. Okay. First, let's try these bag items here. This one is the Cheti Chikalu, a Baru Chikalu. It's a traditional South Indian snack. It says, it says at the top here. Handmade, made with natural ingredients, no added colors, and no added preservatives. Here you go. Mm, thank one for you. you. One for me. They look kind of like french fries? Chips or, or something? Yeah. They, um... I don't know. Chips. Has a lot of different ingredients. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Interesting. It has some spice to it. Wow. That kind of spicy. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. It's surprising. Wow. It like hits you. Whoa. Oh my god. That's spicy. I wasn't expecting that. So. These are like flaming hot Cheetos. Mmm. I would say like, but. But. The Indian version, but better, I think. It's not as salty. It's not salty at all or anything. So it says here that chikalu are a traditional fried snack from the Andhra Pradesh and they are very crunchy, delicious, and addictive. These are definitely addictive. Yeah. And their level of spice is pretty good. Imagine like eating hot Cheetos, if you know what those are. And these are mm. like comparable. Yeah. It's just like a different type of chip. They have rice flour, chana dal, and spices. So that's why it's like super, super flavorful. I can see like there's like mm. chili seeds inside the, the chip, I think. It's like filled with little seeds, so. Mm. Not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, okay. I'd rate it a 7 out of 10. It's not something I'd crave for. But mm -hmm. if it was there, I get it. I would crave for that. That, that gets addictive after a while. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, next up on our bag snackies is the bujia. Savory spice peppery beans flour noodles. Yes, and so this is the Halderams brand, which is supposedly a, a really big brand in India. Kind of remind, reminds me of like in elementary school when you eat top ramen, you like crunch it all together. That's m some people, not all people. I mean, yeah. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That wasn't like super delicious at the beginning. But then when you eat it all together, it has like, it's a, like a nutty flavor, doesn't it? It reminds me of the top ramen stuff. Chickpea but, flour. But it has a more savory flavor. Yeah. This is um, not bad. That's a pretty good snack. I would, I would definitely get that. Per Google, it is a popular crispy snack prepared by using moth beans, basan, and spices originating from uh, Bikaner. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. A city in the western state of Rajasthan in India. Moth beans? What's that? What is that? I if don't know. you know, let us know in the description below. Do you just eat it like how we're eating it? Just like put it in your mouth and stuff? Is that how, it? How else would you eat it? Like the pictures here show little chunks in it. I'm trying to look for it, but I don't see anything. So I think it's supposed to be like this. I think this one's more addicting than that one. 
I would go back to that one. It's like, but, imagine like, yeah, eating hot chips. Sometimes you know that. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. I rate this Buhia Bujia six out of 10. So six out of 10, but then the other one's seven out of 10? Yeah, okay, fine. I like this one better. This, I like this one a little bit better. Next up, we got the House Hot Mix Fresh Snack. And it has a mixture of ground flour and peanuts and... So it's like bar food. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. You go to a bar and you get all that. So you can see it has like a bunch of dried stuff, peas, flour. Thing. It looks like the bujia, bujia thing in it too. And some of this. It's kind of hard to see. It's like... Mm. Mmm. Okay. Salty. This is the saltiest one out of these three. It's spicy. It's pretty with, good. With that, wow. Yeah. If I had a beer, I'd eat it with that. I'd drink that with it. This could go perfectly with Marco. Yeah. Oh, look, they have these little things. Mmm. Chunky. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's like a normal. Nothing like crazy. Yeah. Well, but it's, a, it's like a best of all different areas of the maybe Indian variety. Mildly addictive. Yeah. Let's do all the savories first before we move on to the sweets. They told us shakri. Shakri. Let us know where this is from. Looks like a little like pinwheel. It's like a pinwheel cookie maybe? I don't know. It says here that Shakri or Shakli is a savory snack from India, specially made during Diwali time as many as one of many tasty snacks. Made from Bengal gram, which is brown chickpea and urad dal. Cheers. Homemade from this supermarket. Yeah. Oh wow, mm. pretty good. Oh, that's good. Is this fried or is it baked? Mm. I bet you it's fried. Mmm. Definitely a crispy cookie. Definitely. Yeah. It requires a lot of crunching. That's good. Very spice flavorful. Mm-hmm. Not spicy though. I feel like I gotta dip this in something. Yeah, a little dry for my taste. Oh, like, what do you do? It's just um, like a snack. You just eat it like this, right? Oh! My mouth is kind of tired. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. I like it. Mmm. I give this 8 out of 10. A little bit better than the other ones. I don't know if it's because it's fresh. And the other ones are packaged. So I feel like I can't really compare, but not bad. All right, next up we're gonna try is the Gujia. This is a dumpling. It is actually a sweet deep fried dumpling native to the Indian subcontinent. Made with suji or maida stuffed with a mixture of sweetened koa, dried fruits, and fried in ghee. Here we go. Wow, this looks extra unhealthy. It's like a, it's like a dumpling. It's, it looks like a little empanada. Yeah. How cute. Okay. And there's like nuts, almond slivers, pistachios on the outside. Oh, wow. Wow. This is good. Wow. Mmm. Oh, wow. Why don't you want I've never had anything like this before. Sweet, buttery. I feel like it tastes like saffron, right? Saffrony. Mm-hmm. This coconut. Coconut. It, it has like some spice in, inside, but I don't, I don't think it's listed here. If you guys know, let us down. Like, what's in here? Dude, what's mm. inside? I don't know what's inside. Kind of tastes like coconut bits, like shredded coconut. Yeah, but there's something else. There's a spice in here that I don't know what it is, but it. Reminisces me of the saffron ice cream. This is a very heavy dumpling. Definitely recommend this. 
Gugia. I don't know if I'm, I'm butchering it, I'm sure, but mm. whatever this is, let us know where this comes from. So good. Next up, we will eat Motichur Ladu. Look at this, it's like a little orange ball. Yeah, what is it? I don't know. It says it is a sphere shaped sweet originating from the Indian subcontinent and it's made from flour, fat, and sugar. Well, we're gonna get diabetes today. No. No. Mmm. I like it. It's really, it's like soft, pillowy. It's like sweet. It just reminds me of like a rice ball with sugar and some spices. It's just graham flour, ghee, sugar, and nuts. Tastes delicious. Mmm. Not bad. I don't know if I could pick one. The Ladu or the Gujia. They're both pretty good. This one's on the heavier side, the Gujia. Thank you for bringing this to the world. You guys are blessings. They're both delicious. I would recommend both of them. Mm. The next one we have is Malai Gulab Jamun. These look like cream filled goodness. I don't know what this is, but they said this is the most popular flavor, the Malai. And they had the rose, they have the different flavors, but they said this is the most popular. Let's try it, I'm excited. It's like Indian patissier. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of like a donut. No, not even close. It's like a yogurt filling. Mm. A donut tastes like a donut to me. Mmm, very sweet. Mmm. That's a very interesting flavor. Wow, I like it. 10 out of 10 recommend this. Mm. If you've never eaten this before. This is really good. Mmm. I, yeah, so far I like this one the best. I could eat like a dozen of those. Cause they're like mini and then like they're really soft moist and like your your teeth just sink into it and like it like dissolves in your mouth almost mm. they're all so unique they're very unique to me so mm -hmm. that one was the most unique all right two more things guys this is the jalebi i love jalebi but it's basically fried dough dipped in like sugar syrup Never tried it, but first time for everything. I've made it before. It's fun. Sorry about the lights. It just, our light went out because it was too hot. Yeah, so it's gonna be a little dark now in the video. The Jalebi! Mmm. Mmm. I will always love Jalebi. I don't know. How much sugar there is in it? It's too much sugar, but it's really good. I'm biased. I give this a nine out of ten. It reminds me of like funnel cake. Mm-hmm. It's like a honey funnel cake. Yeah, yeah. Last but not least, this is the son papti. Oh wow, this looks delicious already. It looks like a cake. So it comes in this little container. Like that, it comes really flaky. It looks like those Chinese candies, the dragon hairs, dragon floss. Looks like that. Mmm. Mmm. This one we got was made with ghee butter. This is a flaky sweet dessert with almonds and pistachios. Wow, I wonder how they make this. This tastes like something you'd like eat with like your chai tea. Yeah. I would... Like on the side or something. It's like a little. Mmm. You guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We had so many snacks and sweets here. Yeah. My ultimate favorite. Oh, it's so hard. I don't know. I don't know. I think in terms of savory, I'd eat this. The Shakri is my number one. And for sweets, I think I love the Jalebi. I just love Jalebi. But that is a good second. 
the Malai Gulab Jamun. The Malai Gulab Jamun will be my number one. Uh, you have to try it out if you haven't tried it already. Maybe we're butchering, butchering the name. Apologize again. Maybe we haven't even listed some of your sweets that are go-to sweets in India or that you would fancy if you were to try. These are some of the ones that we, we had to give a try. Please let us know in the comment section below if there are others that are must-tries. Like, comment, and subscribe below. And don't forget to ring the notification bell. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye.